Well, welcome back again, folks. Uh, getting ready to put this pick guard on this this Martin D28 guitar. <clears throat> Here's the old pick guard that came off of it. Here's the new one that I ordered. The guy wanted the redder one. Uh, I don't know if it's not quite as red as the one that was on there, I don't think. But I never never saw this problem before. I'll put the, uh, this is the new one. This is the new one right here. Here's the old one that I took off of the guitar. Uh, I think maybe you can see how much bigger the new one is. I think maybe you can see that. The new pick guard is quite a lot bigger than the old one is. Uh, well, not a lot, but a tiny bit bigger than the old one is. So, uh, I've never had that to happen before. And when you go to placing this new pick guard on here and uh, try to cover up where the old one was at everywhere so you can't see where there was a change in the finish, it doesn't match up with the rosette exactly unless I put the pick guard all the way back touching the bridge. And I hate to do that, but that's the only way I'm going to be able to match it up to make it look even halfway right. I'll bring the camera over here and show you in a minute what I'm talking about. Uh, it's very weird that that worked out like that. This old pick guard's quite a bit smaller than the, the new one is, but still I want to show you how I do it. And maybe uh, you can do this technique if you ever want to change your pick guard. I'll show it to you in a minute. First let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. Okay this is the old pick guard that I took off. You can see around here where the old pick guard was at. Now there's that's an extra coating of finish here. More One more coat of finish here or several more than there is here. But there is finish here. But if I lay it right over the footprint, the rosette matches up perfectly. It's not touching the bridge back here. Okay? Now let me show you the new one, what I'm talking about. If I lay this uh, up here, just enough to cover the footprint up. And you can see it's not lining up with the rosette at all. I can move it on down about like so. Uh, about right there, I think. No. Right against it. If I ever need to take that bridge, if there were anyone ever needs to take the bridge off, it's going to be kind of tough working around that pick guard, but that's the only way to make it fit. I mean, it'll still work. It's just a little bit bigger. And then see, you have that footprint right there. We want to cover that up and then make the rest of this line up with the rosette as well as possible. So the trick here is making tape hinges, okay? I got two pieces of uh, masking tape on here. And I got the pick guard exactly where I want it to fall. Now we can do a couple of drop. Uh, we'll peel it up like that and peel it off and then just drop it. Make sure, absolutely sure it lands where we want it. And it is doing that. So, pull it up again, and peel it, and perfect, exactly where I wanted it to go. perfectly where I wanted it to land at. And still it's not fitting like the other, uh, the original old pit guard was. Because I sized this up with my, uh, my, one of my Martin pit guards on the guitar. And it was exactly the right, same size as it was. Now see, I left a little distance. I was able to leave a little distance between the pit guard and the bridge. I didn't want to put it right against the bridge, but it's still there's a tiny bit exposed of the footprint of the old one here. But uh, that's okay. Now we just want to peel this tape off. Oh, so gently. <laughs> and 
And like I said, you, we use a lot of heat taking the pick guard off. I always like to use a lot of uh, some heat putting them on as well. Makes them stick better if you can heat that up. Doesn't have to be really hot, but you know, you want to get it pretty warm and it helps that adhesive to melt just a little bit. Always start in the center of the pick guard and push outward in both directions or in any direction. Never start like down here and wipe up or up here and wipe all the way down. Start in the center and wipe outwards. Show you close up view here in a few minutes. That's all the heat we need for that. Just like to press it out good. <clears throat> Make sure there's no air bubbles. Yeah, heating it like that. That uh, that helps it a lot to stick better. It's just better all over, in my opinion. I always do it. Now, I've got videos of me putting on pit guards before, but I can't remember if I showed the entire process or I don't remember. Now we just let that cool off. Anyways, folks, that's the way I do it. I put. You know, two pieces, I could have put the tape two pieces back here, you know, ran them back over the bridge, back this way. I usually prefer doing the, the hinge on this side of the pick guard, you know, just like I showed you there. But, I don't know, for whatever reason, before, I have did it before and run the tape back over the bridge and back this way. It works just as well either way. The main thing is just to get your to get it to fall in the right place every time exactly where you want that way you don't have to stick it on and you miss it and you got to screw with taking it back off and stuff that sucks that's happened to me too but it was it's been a long time ago thankfully <laughs> okay let me grab that just a little bit more I think we're pretty well good to go Got the strings tied up here with a, a leather string, holding them out of the way. Get that off of it and hold on. Uh, we'll talk about it. Here's what I was going to show you. This is the old pick guard behind the uh, the new pick guard paper that peels off of the adhes adhesive. And you can see how much bigger the new pick guard is. Very weird. The circle isn't exactly 100% the same. I've never seen that before. Every one that, that this guy has cut out for me has been exactly what, you know, what I took off of uh, the other guitars. But this one's different. I told him it was for a D28. I thought an 80s some model. Uh, Martin. And like I say, they always worked before. I don't know why there was that much difference in the, the size of the new one and the old original one. Anyways, it's on there. I, I'll tune it up and uh, try to give you a little demo. This thing sounds so sweet, man. It, if you remember what it sounded like before. Maybe I, I don't remember if I played it before on video or not, but hold on, you'll see.
tune. But you can hear what a sweet sound this thing has got. I haven't been playing guitar, man. This is the first time I've actually tried to play a guitar in almost two weeks. Can you believe it? I've been too busy to play. I'm trying to hold this thing as loosely as I can, too. But you hear the sound, man. It has got that old sweet Martin sound. Now here's another look at the pick guard. It lined up okay, but it's just I didn't really like the way it turned out. And there's the picture of the binding that we fixed. Uh, it's got new strings on it. I don't know what these are. These were on it when it came in here, and I just took them off and put them in the case and left them in there. You remember that funkiness around the bridge there? with the pins. Didn't do anything to that. Wasn't told to touch that or do anything to it. Uh, the accent is a little bit higher than I like. Higher than I'm used to. And with my hands screwed up like they are, it makes it hard for me to chord. But uh, there you go folks. What did we do to this thing? We fixed the binding here. Uh, we put a pick guard on it. We fixed this crack in the top, put a cleat inside of it. I didn't show it. I took a razor blade. It's it's laying right here. Did the razor blade trick with uh, scotch tape on both ends and leaving only the center of the blade exposed. First I raked it across a piece of steel to create a burr on the blade and then I taped both sides leaving only the center of the blade exposed and then I scraped this up that crack I wanted to show you guys that. We're going to do it on the guild too. I got to go ahead to fix those cracks in it or glue them anyway. So we'll do that again. I'll show it to you then. But uh, you can't even feel that crack anymore. I mean, you can still see it, I think, a little bit. Uh, it's not so bad, but get the light off of it. Maybe you can see it. But uh, you can see it a little bit. I mean, you know, but nothing like it was. I mean, you could really feel that thing before. And you can see it more than that, too. We glued that up, clamped it, scraped it, put the pick guard on, put a cleat inside that crack. Uh, trying to think what all I fixed the binding. I think that's all we did to it. Uh, I can't really remember. It's been here so long, I forget. But listen to that sweet sound. And there's the cue ball right here on the floor with us, so beware. You know what happens when she shows up. Anyways, that's the way that I put the pick guards on. 
if you tape, you know, get them where you want them on there. Put you a couple of pieces of tape. You can, they can be down here this way, like I did, or they can be back this way. Just make a hinge. And then drop it a couple of times and test it. Make sure it falls exactly where you want it to go in those drop tests. And then uh, peel it off and let it fall. Put some heat on it. Rub from the center out, remember. And uh, that pick art will stay on there for a long time, I think. I uh, hope the guy's pleased with it. Hopefully he'll he'll like it tomorrow when I when he finally gets it back. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. To uh, sorry for the hold up on this stuff. Had to get the contest winners announced, and uh, hopefully Jack Spencer is the one that won that contest. Hopefully I'll give him till next Sunday. Uh, a week from today, whatever the date is. Today, I think, is the 5th, but I'm not even sure of that. Anyway, we'll give him until next Sunday. If he don't come forward and claim the stuff, then then the next runner-up will, will get the stuff. And he'll have a week to claim it. <laughs> so, thanks to all of you who participated, and all you subscribers, new and old alike, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Next, we're going to, uh, I guess we'll start rounding out that guild guitar for the new truss rod. You don't want to miss that. Hang around. That's going to be fun. Put a new truss rod in it. Put the fretboard back on it. And I don't think we're going to have to do a neck reset. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the owner wants to do, if we even need to. But I, I think we maybe are not going to have to. But that's what's coming up. The truss rod installment. Uh, lots of routing and cutting and... Uh, glue sniffing and it just you name it man bring your bowl and salt at the house it never sleeps it's the weekend <laughs> cheers